Hi everybody and welcome to this next video. In this video we are talking about the, the process adding an existing PLC unit into a guide project and the functionality to convert PoU group and program into guide. This convert function is necessary due to the fact guide does not support multiple tasks like a PLC system for example is doing a PLU, so a program organization unit, as defined in the IEC 61139-3 standard, is supported in guide for function and function block only. But to give the possibility to import existing PLC code written in one of the five IEC languages and including PLU defined as a program object, this convert function and guide is available. The call sequence of a PLU program within um, a PLC project is defined in task objects. And as I said, guide does not support task objects, but in the following, I will show how to handle and implement PoU program anyway. We will start with a little easy, understandable PLC project written in structured text, including PoU program and using Codesys um, software platform version 3.5 with um, Service Pack 12. This PLC project will be exported inside the Codesys software platform and imported afterwards using the PLC XML standard file and the convert PoU program functionality in guide. At the end, we will do a short debugging test to check the logic of the imported and uh, simply change code and guide. Please refer also to other videos which shows how to handle and program in different languages like IEC 61139 and how to use the PLC editor in Plus One Guide. So the starting point in this video is a Codesys project including function, function block and program POUs. The main program PLC program does include two instances of the function block, my function block. Um, I will try to explain the logic a bit that the function block provides three inputs dependent of Boolean input three. Um, the output will be assigned with a byte input one and two. If the Boolean input is true, which is used in the, in the first instance, the input one value 10 will be assigned to the output one. If the Boolean input is false, which is used in the second instance, um, the sum of input 1 value 10 and input 2 value 15 is assigned to the output 2. After this uh, two instances an additional program my program is called and provides the output 4 which will uh, be incremented any loop by 10 via the, the input 2 starting with the value 10. At the end the output 3 will be written via the function call with the input 1 value 10. So uh, very simple logic, but including all three PoU units, function, function blocks, and program, which is used for this uh, convert function. The output values 1, 2, and 3 will always be the same. Output value 4 will be increased by 10 in each loop. So this is the main logic um, for this PLC unit code. To use this existing PLC code and guide and also in, in other IEC 61139-3 development systems, we have to provide this code in a, in a standardized file format to transfer information from different software tools to, to other platforms. In Codesys, we export the code via the export PLC open XML function. Select um, all and store the XML file. In this example, we use the file uh, name program. After exporting the existing PLC code via the PLC open XML export, we want to import this standardized code and guide. This can be done inside a new or existing guide um, project, of course. I created a new project to show and debug the PLC code at um, the end. Doing so, I used um, guide version 11.1 because this version will be released soon and provides a nice and uh, user-friendly 
improvement, creating new project. As you can see on this page, the create new project dialog offers not only the project name. In addition, the user can also choose um, the hardware and the template if necessary as well. So all separate, all three separated steps from previous guide versions combined in one. For this video, the template is not used, so I disabled the checkbox. After setting up a new guide project, we can import the PLC open XML code. Inside the project manager, right click on the application name and choose add existing and PLC unit. Um, a window um, or Windows Explorer will be opened where I can choose the existing exported PLC open XML file um, program. After this, a new folder PLC units inside the guide project manager has been added, including the new PLC unit program. All PLUs function, function block, and, um, and program are listed in the PU folder. Global variables does include program-specific declaration from the codices file, like var global, var assess, or persistent variables, and also variable configuration itself. These program-specific declarations are not supported from guide, so they, they will be copied to the guide global variable folder. The reason why this file has been created is, is um, the export process inside Codices. At the beginning, I showed you that, um, how to export the PLC code as PLC OpenXML file. During this <coughs> export dialog, I choose all, which does include, or which does also include these mentioned specific declarations like global variables, variable configuration, and persistent um, bars. So, Let's take a look to the PRU or PRU's folder inside the Project Manager tab and guide. This folder does include all PRU's, my function, my function block, my program, and uh, the main um, program, PLC program as well. So all PRU's written in structured text and the language um, prefix. As I said, guide does not support task objects. That's uh, why the compiling process will fail. From the IEC 611.39 perspective, everything inside structured text looks correct and declared in the right way. The PRU program needs to be converted into a function block so that guide is able to handle the PRU functionality. The only way to do so is right-click the program inside the project manager and select convert to function block. This process needs to be done for any PRU program separately. After this convert process, not much happened. The PRU declaration of the program has been changed to function block, uh, including the same code. That means they have to act as a function block. That's the reason why the next compiling process will fail as well, because the program calls will be handled as instances inside guide, but the PRU is called directly by name. To solve this, an instance needs to be created manually and used instead of the PRU program name. In addition, the variable out needs to be declared as output variable as well. The converted PRU program are acting as function block now and the compiling process ended successfully. After the PLC code has been converted and changed successfully, I want to test the logic and behavior inside guide. For testing, I use the guide debugger functionality, which is provided in guide without any additional add-on licenses. To call the PLC code and set a debugging breakpoint, I add the component call PLU to the drawing area, connect a true constant to trigger the call PLU component and select the main PRU PLC program. This is more or less um, all what is needed to call the PLC unit and test the logic directly inside the structured text code. But to make the variables and um, the result better visible, I declared all variables in PRU PLC program as um, var output and connect them to checkpoints in the guide drawing area. 
So start the debugger, clicking F7 key and set a breakpoint on the component called PSC program. Configure the breakpoint dialog on that component to set active so that the debugger will stop at that component on any loop. We use the step over function, which is the F8 key, until we are after the, the call of PLC program. The outputs has been assigned correctly. So the loop index zero provides the following um, results. The output one is 10, output two is 25, and output three and four are also 10 in the first index or the first loop. Then we use again the step over function, which is the F8, until we are after the, the call of PLC um, program again, uh, but now in, in loop index one, so one loop after, and the results are output one, two, and three are uh, unchanged, and output four has increased by 10. So let's do it again, um, step over via F8 key to check the results in loop index two. So no changes for output one, two, and three, still the same result, and the output four has increased again by 10. So the logic of the PLC code has been tested successfully. This showed um, one possible and uh, yeah, easy um, use case, how it can be tested. But the most important thing is to show the possibility to add existing PLC coding guide written in one of the available IEC 611.39-3 languages with some external software tools or platforms like um, yeah, Codices, for example, and how to handle with not supported task objects like peer PRU program and how to convert them to applicable function block easily and fast. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plus One community help is available on the Plus One user forum. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One help desk. Thank you for your attention.